Do you want to know how to create an interior design mood board for your living room now and on Photoshop? If so, then just continue watching. Hey everyone and welcome back to Tips with Mona. My name is Mona Abu Fayyad. I'm an architect and a designer. On this platform, I explain some architectural and designing content. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like, share, comment and hit the notifications bell on so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. But for now, let's start our exciting video. So this is the mood board that I created just for you. If you want to see how I did this mood board step by step on Photoshop, then just continue watching. So the first thing I want to do is that I'm going to go to create new. I'm going to select A3 and I'm going to change the resolution to 180 and landscape hit OK and this is gonna be my working space and then afterwards you're gonna need to go to your Pinterest and search for living room designs you can get inspired from Pinterest you can see different styles for your rooms and you can download images to use for your mood board for me I have already downloaded the images that I want to work with and I have chosen a color palette to take colors from. I'm gonna start with my empty room. In this mood board, I wanted to put my empty room in the middle so I can work easily. I'm gonna place it in the middle and then I'm gonna hit OK. Afterwards, I'm gonna choose a title for my mood board. For this mood board, I would like to choose a title that is not really straightforward. I'm gonna write my modern classic French living room because I think this is what the furniture that I have chosen represent. Then I'm gonna change the fonts and the font type and the font style and the font size. For the modern word, I'm choosing a modern font. And for the classic word, I'm choosing a classical font. And then for the rest of the sentence, I would like it to be just normal. And then I'll go to character to change the spacing between the two sentences. Now that I have placed my title at the top, I'm gonna go to my folder and start putting the images. This is my color palette. I would like to put it anywhere in a random way. For me, I've chosen to put it in the corner. I think this is where I want to put it. Maybe I can change that afterwards, but for now, this is where I like to put it. And here I'm gonna delete the parts that I don't wanna show from my color palette. I'll go to right click on my layer, rasterize image and delete what I want to do. And then I'm going again to my folder. I've chosen this carpet. This is one of the classical elements in my folder and in my mood board and this is as you can see a carpet that has all the colors of my color palette and now I have this modern piece which is my sofa and then I'm gonna put it a little bit down and I'm gonna make sure that the scale is consistent and it's matching with the room Now I'm gonna put my armchairs. This armchair is a sage green armchair. It's really close to the color that appears in my color palette. I'm gonna duplicate it and put two of these armchairs because I want to have two armchairs in my room. I'll double click 
on the armchair to give it a stroke and hit OK. And then afterwards, I'm going to continue dragging my elements. And for now, I'm going to put my coffee table. This is a press coffee table. And this is one of the classical elements in my mood board. Of course, it will give a feeling of mixing between the two styles, which are the modern and the classical. And then I'll put another press coffee table with a different height. I'll try to overlap them. into my floor lamp this floor lamp can be a mix of both classical and modern and that's why I wanted to put it the color is really classical but the style is so modern I'll put it on this corner and now I'll put my TV unit I'll put it on this side because this is where the TV is gonna be these locations are not 100% accurate but it will give you the feeling where the furniture are gonna be Is the type of gold one I'm gonna put it over here with the sofas and this is the painting that I'm gonna be using it has the rose color This is one of the accessories that are going to be showing in my mood board. I'm going to put it in the same place where my painting is. And of course the cushions. I'm going to move my color palette because I think that its place was not convenient. So I moved it to the other corner and I'll put the other cushion as well. And now I'm going to choose a brush which has a texture to put a background so I created a layer and I placed it down right after the white background layer and now I'm gonna pick colors from my color palette so I can color my background I randomly pick colors from the color palette and start coloring the background until I like it and also I've reduced the opacity of the layer to something like 57 or so on you can keep playing until you like it. and here I decided to reduce the opacity a little bit more and then you can start giving stroke to the elements that you think that they are not popping after putting the colored background so here I'm changing the styles for a few of the images so they can pop in my mood board now I'm gonna start selecting the groups that I've created and I'm gonna put them closer to the room this will give you the feeling that 
your elements are consistent and working all together then I'm gonna move back my title up select everything except the title and the color palette and I'm gonna scale it up to fill the mood board now I think that the elements are appearing in a better way and here I'm also resizing the background and I'm reducing the opacity and you can put a slogan I decided to put calm comfortable and stylish and then I'm gonna change the font size and the font style I'm gonna choose three different fonts for my slogan and you go to character to change the spacing between the words and then just ctrl T to change the scale and now this is the final result of our mood board if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe like share comment and hit the notifications bell on so you can get notified whenever i upload a new video but for now i'll see you in the next one bye